Hello everyone, what's up? Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about how to add dynamic data source in a pivot table so that whenever you add or remove any data from your database, the pivot table will change dynamically according to the database. So basically this is the last part of my previous video that wasn't processed correctly due to some technical issue. So let's begin and don't worry I'll give you the link of downloading this excel workbook into my description box so please check it out download it and practice yourself for further improvement of your excel knowledge so welcome back guys on your favorite channel technical portal and let's begin today's video suppose here in this data if you include any of the data here that is 2020 this is 20 all like this but pivot table will not catch it or recognize it it will not show into your database like i have inserted a broker name you will not get the broker name now let me show you the trick how to insert dynamic table into your pivot table at first click on any of the database you have there and press ctrl and t look at here what happens that means you are converting your total database into a table now you can also change your database anywhere anything like this that are more advanced level or you can say intermediate level if you want this tutorial also into how to create table properly please type into the comment section i'll make sure to upload a video on tables also after creating the table or converting your database into a table just select any of the data go to the insert tab click on pivot table create your pivot table i am selecting the pivot table location here only click on ok look at here i have the broker name here season filter here then i have the quantities value here and i have the grade column here you can change the count to sum now you have the total cages look at here it is showing because i have created that before right if i delete something suppose the last column which i have created here i want to delete it just click on here and delete it now go to your pivot table and refresh your data now if you have entered something into your database here like 2020 20 all right now if you again go to your pivot table data and refresh it it will show you the data automatically and in the beginning of this video i have told you that i will talk about the slicer option also right note carefully the slicer option is only available into the 2010 version of microsoft excel and above of that version how to get it just click on that pivot table go to the insert tab here you can see the option of slicer now you will get the header option here now select which slicer you want if you want the cell number click on it grade and season right click on ok the slicer will be created now notice here that whatever you want to select here the data will be showed within that data range so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i'll come back soon with the next part of this video please don't forget to share your opinions as well as your queries into the comment section if you like this video please hit the like button till then Keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.